Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Myers and I would love to introduce you to my consumer, Haley. Haley is a free-spirited spirit, free 26-year-old. She's an art critic, so she travels around the world to different museums. And as she travels, she loves to participate in her favorite activity, which is paddleboarding yoga. If some of you don't know what that is, it's pretty self-explanatory yoga on a paddleboard. And so this activity is currently being grown very quickly. Over 50% of boards that are sold are actually used for this activity. So for my inspiration, I chose topography, French Impressionism, and Svadhyaya, which is a yoga practice of self-observation. And so going off of topography, I focus on the organic and the natural curvatures of the earth. So that's kind of blending like earth and nature with art. And then for French Impressionism, I was going off of en plein air, which is a French word or French phrase for just in plein air, so out in, the, in nature and just purity and everything. Yeah. So the problems that I found with a beta brand is that there are no women's shoes at all. So this is the first style that is incorporating women's shoes. And for the board, I found that the boards are very slick because the pad only covers about 80 to 85% of it. So that kind of leaves about 15 to 20% that you cannot use and that you can slip and just possibly be injured or fall into the water with. And also UV rays that hit the board, if they're wood or if they're just plastic, it can cause it to heat up. Also, like I said, less usage of the board and beach train with rocks, shells, and all that. Next. So my solutions for that are A, a no-slip outsole using a silicone grip that's sticky. B, lightweight structure that kind of focuses on also the yoga principle of minimalism and C, contour to foot for support, and UV protection with the thickness of the Arupreen package. These are my ideations, starting in the top left. So as you can see, I really focused on minimalism from the start and just trying to keep subtracting and subtracting and subtracting until my final illustration down here. Next. So that kind of led me to these five ideas. Um, I chose to not go with a hard outsole just because it's just super minimalism, and you have to keep subtracting from what you had. Next. So that led me to Namaste, my final project. Um, I chose a silicone outsole for grip and traction against the board. And my secret is the TLC color shift, which it appears any color. It's two colors. And so if you bend it and the different folds that it takes, it can change color. So that's around the foot. And I contoured that specifically around the ankle bone just to like reduce abrasion and also made a wave structure seam in the back to reduce abrasion as well. And also I have the TLC mesh and the Arifrim package. Thanks. And this is my final rendering. Thank you. <laughs>